Nobody is above the law. A common matter. Nobody is above the law. And that is the position of the ESCC chairman, as Ibrahim Magu insists, a failed attempt to arrest the NIA boss. Okay, is not the end to the saga. Plus, the president wants to audit the recovered loots. And APC national leader Bola Tinubu insists there is no automatic ticket for President Muhammadu Buhari in 2019. He says the president will go through the party's due process. And thanks for joining everyone. This is Politics City Live on Channel's Television. I'm Shio sure Kimbalo in Lagos. Well, Governor Willie Obiano of Anambra State has picked up his return certificate. The governor received the certificate of return at the state headquarters of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in Orca, the Anambra State Capital, after the landslide victory on Saturday's governorship election. The re-elected governor assured the people of Anambra State that the confidence they repose in him through his re-election will not be betrayed. Consultations and visits are not new in politics. The purpose is what sometimes could be left to those who want to guess. Today, River State Governor Yin Sam Wike paid a courtesy visit to the former head of state, General Ibrahim Babangida. The reasons why Governor Wike visited General Babangida's uh, country home in Mina may not be heard to figure out. They belong to the same political party, and that party is a PDP and are trying its uh, best to regain a stature in Nigerian politics. One way the party hopes to achieve that is by electing a national chairman come December 9 this year. The governor has shown strong interest in who takes that position. As a matter of fact, he's rooting for one of the candidates, and his visit to General uh, Babangida may not be unconnected to that. Yeah, talking about 2019 now. Yesterday, Governor Rocha Zokorocha of Imo State said the president is enjoying a strong support from many APC leaders. The president has also been endorsed by governors from the ops going into the next general election. But today, the party's national leader, Bala Ahmed Tinubu, said President Buhari will definitely go through the party's due process to end 2019 ticket for his re-election. Listen to him. Buhari, we want a normal process. The Buhari that I know. Who says he will lose any, at any convention? But if the national body of the party, the NEC, and all of us as members, I will now go out together eh, and endorse it as our single candidate, we will not be violating INEC regulations. We will not be violating our own constitution. What you are hearing from anybody is a campaign. Well then, Bola Tinubu, leader of the APC, we all see how this plays out talking about the fact that zoning is one major issue. Will that be followed in the APC? Will the president be given a ticket to run again on the platform of the APC? It may look, look like it's uh, two years away, but we'll wait for all that to happen. Well, let's move on to some matter of state. Now, President Muhammad Buhari wants a committee to look into the book of the recovered loots. So the president has inaugurated an audit committee. He's expected to check assets and loots recovered by government agencies and to submit the report in four weeks from now. The committee is to audit all recovered accounts up to April 10, 2017. We're talking about loot. There is a name you probably have heard attached to the Ikoyi money, that ambassador. Okay. An attempt to arrest the embattled NIA turned to a face-off between operatives of the EFCC and men of the state security services. And also, even fact, the National Intelligence Agency. It was a failed attempt. But according to the EFCC boss, Ibrahim Mago, there is no going back on the plan to have the former head of the security agencies arrested. Are you discouraged? No, no, at all, at all. The law must take its course. Nobody's above the law. 
So uh, that, that, nobody is above the that law. That suggests that you're going back for another attempt, sir. I'm telling you, nobody is above the law. Thank the law you must take its course. Thank you very yeah. much, sir. And if there is no offense, we don't go for. And there must be reason, strong reason, before we went for that thing. So never, never. I'm not distracted. I'm not discouraged at all. I, do you have enough? It's only head over anyway. Do you have sufficient evidence for your actions, sir? No, we don't go. We don't go out for for the sake of going. Out. We must have a strong reason why we went. Thank so definitely, much. I'm not discouraged at all. Thank you very much. Another, sir. another it give me energize me to do more. Thank you very much. And I'm much. telling you, nobody is above the law. Nobody is above the law. In this same matter, the Senate is also probing into the clash among these agencies. Well then, let's get into the discussion.